as we know, the valley is among the worst places in the nation to breathe. But a new technology holds the promise of turning virtually every new building and road into an air cleaning factory. An Italian company is now marketing a special cement mix that tests show is capable of absorbing pollution. Norma Uriar joins us now live with how it works and what a Catholic church has to do with this all. Well, J.D. and Monty, this all began when the Vatican commissioned a noted American architect to design a new church. And as it turns out, behind the peaceful facade lies a startling discovery. This brilliantly white church in Rome is gaining the attention of Valley Architects, not for its contemporary design, but for its capability to reduce smog. Somebody walking by the building, you know, within eight feet is going to be breathing in less pollutants than somebody walking ten feet away from the building. I think that's fantastic. Italy's Dio Padre Misericordioso, or better known as the Smog Eating Church of Rome, was built using a new technology. Inventors claim will help the world's most polluted places improve their air quality. This material works where you have a highly polluted area. Well, Fresno has some big challenges when it comes to air quality. In fact, Fresno ranks number two for worst in the nation. Not even Los Angeles, the nation's small capital, has more violations during an eight-hour federal health standard. One of the challenges that we have here in the valley is because we're in a bowl, because we're surrounded by mountains on three sides, we don't produce as much pollution as, say, San Francisco or Los Angeles, but the pollution we do produce has absolutely nowhere to go. So it just builds up. It sits here where it bakes during the summertime. That causes ozone. Jamie Holt with the San Joaquin Valley Air Pollution Control District says the answer lies with new innovations. One of the latest is called TX Active. It's an additive that can turn a road or ordinary building into a weapon against air pollution. The Italian company has come up with an additive that can be mixed into cement or paint. Here's how it works. When light shines on a building coated with the product, the material becomes active and eats away surrounding pollutants, such as carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxide. Yeah, if it really does work, we're the perfect place to use it. Interim Public Works Director for the City of Fresno, John Ruiz, says Valley drivers log millions of miles a day within city limits alone. Milana is a similar city in terms of uh, pollutants. In fact, it was in Italy, Rome specifically, where the material was first used seven years ago when American architect Richard Meyer requested the product. He said he wanted the church to stay white, clean, and most importantly, resist Rome's notorious smog. I have to say, as a fan of contemporary architecture, I really liked the building <laughs> uh, that it was used on. Um, the fact that it happened to be on a Catholic church could be a message. Douglas Du Ravage, a licensed architect and construction manager for the Diocese of Fresno, says he's paying close attention to the technology. Tests show pollutants could be reduced by 20 to 70 percent depending on sunlight and wind. I'm going to be very interested in the cost effectiveness of it. If the research is, is on track and it looks like it, it does what it's claiming to do, then it, it might have a use here in the valley. The product also reduces the smell of smog, and if the project gets the green light here in Fresno, then we would be the first in the nation to use it.